this Welsh ASMR AD2. Hey, how you doing? So, I haven't done this video for a little while, but I know you always really enjoy it. This is the Flags, Capitals and Countries of the World book. Complete handbook by the Wonderlust Press. So, what we do is I pick a page at random and I read all the facts. Let me look at all the flags. We've done about four videos, I think. I'm gonna do this one, I think. Have I done it before? I always worry about whether I've done it before. I don't think you care, though, do you, really? Such a pretty book, isn't it? Okay, we're going to do this one. So we'll start off with Dominica. Capital city is Rosso. That's an area of 750 kilometers squared, or 290 square miles. Population is 72,000 people, so pretty small. The highest point is Mon Diablo Teens. Quite a whopping, it's a good start, 1,447 meters. It's pretty impressive. And the official language is English. That is Dominica. Let's have a quick look at it. Nice. is actually 10.8 million. The highest point is the Pico Duarte, 3,098 meters above sea level, and Spanish is the official language. It looks like we're going to do really well on the tall one this time. Sometimes we get pages with very flat countries. So... Winning Dominican Republic is winning on all of the bases so far. Biggest, most population, and the highest peak. Okay. East Timor is next. Capital city, Dili. Area 15,000 kilometers squared or 5,900, sorry, 5,794 square miles. Population 1.3 million. Highest point, Mount Ramelau at 2,963, so slightly shorter than that in the Dominican Republic. Official languages Portuguese and Tedum. If you don't know East Timor, it used to be part of Indonesia, but broke away. It was an ex colony for. Also, I can't remember the name of it, but it's one of the words where its name is the same thing in two different languages. So Timor is, I think, maybe Tetum for East. So it's literally East East. If you know any other examples, write the comments. Where I grew up in Wales, we have um, the River Avon separating, it, separating us from England, where Bath and uh, Bristol are. And the word Avon is the word in Welsh for river. So River Avon is the river river. G 
do you know any other examples? Okay, next one is Ecuador, capital city of Quito. This is winning for land mass so far, 283 kilometers squared. Sorry, 283,000 kilometers squared. 109,000 square miles. Population 17.6 million, so it's winning on that too. And the Chimborazo mountain is a whopping 6,267 meters above sea level. Spanish, the official language. So it's winning on three so far, Ecuador. Okay, it's about to lose on at least one of them though. Egypt, capital city Cairo, area 1 million kilometers squared. Is that right? Yeah, they just put these random spaces in. 390,000 square miles. Why does it look so much smaller in square miles? Population 102 million people. Highest point to Mount Catherine, 2,629 meters above sea level. Official language is Arabic. So Egypt is now winning on the... I don't see anyone beating it actually. On surface area and definitely on population. Mm, I spoke too soon, I've just spotted her. <laughs> we'll come to that shortly. Okay, um, El Salvador, capital city San Salvador, uh, area 21,000 kilometers squared or 8,124 square miles. Population 6.8 million, highest point is Cerro El Pital at 2,730 2, meters. Official language is Spanish, so Spanish is winning the languages game today. Un, dos, Tres, three of them with Spanish, one with Arabic, one with English, and one with Portuguese. Equatorial Guinea, capital city Malabo, area 28,000 kilometers squared, 10,000 square miles, population 1.4 million, highest point Pico Basil. 3,008 meters. Official languages Spanish, French, and Portuguese. So, Portuguese for an extra one, French is off the bat, but Spanish is still winning by a mile. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit for us, make it a bit clearer. Okay, so Eritrea is next. Asmara is the capital city. 117,000 kilometers squared, 45,000 square miles. Population 3.5 million. Ice point is Embasoira, 3,018 meters. I'm just checking, no, Ecuador is double that. And the official language is 16. <laughs> and it doesn't even mention one of them. I think one might be Arabic. Estonia, capital city Tallinn, area 45,000 kilometers squared or 17,000 square miles, population 1.3 million. The highest point is Sur Mugamani, just 318 meters, oh that's so small, bless, and Estonian is the official language, I think Estonian is only an official language in Estonia. I'm trying to think it would be anywhere else. I don't think so. Tell me if I'm wrong. Eswatini, capital city Mbabane, area 17,000 kilometers squared or 6,704 square miles. Population of 1.6 million. Sorry, 1.16, so 1.1 million. Highest point is Enlembe, Enlembe. 1,862 meters. And the official languages are English and Swazi. So English has got two now. Okay, so this is.
this is an exciting one for today. Ethiopia, also one of my favourite flags in the world. Very cool flag. Capital city, Addis Ababa. Did I say that when you're drunk? Addis Ababa. Area 1.1 million kilometres squared, or 462,000 square miles. So that is slightly larger than Egypt. 1.1, and that's 1.01. Population, 114 million people, which again has just beaten Egypt, 102. Highest point, Ras Dejen at 4,550 meters. Still not bigger than the one in Ecuador. Official language is Amharic, which is a sister language of Arabic, but not understandable. You can't understand each other. Fiji, to finish off. Capital city, Suva. Area 18,000 kilometers squared. 7,056 square miles. Population of 896,000. Does that make it us? No. Dominica's only 72,000. Highest point, Tomanivi at 1,324 meters above sea level. Official language is English, Fijian, and Fiji Hindi. It's interesting. So English has come second, I think, today, but Spanish has definitely won. So, I hope that, I just zoomed in, I meant to zoom out, I hope that you enjoyed the video today. If you did, could you please leave a like for me, and also drop me a little comment on any tidbits of knowledge that you have about these areas. Have you ever been to any of them? I have never been to any of these countries. And uh, yeah, so like, comment, subscribe up here, and I'll leave the last video I did in this series in the middle here. So click on that next. But otherwise, thank you so much for watching. Take care, and I'll speak to you really, really soon.